So this will be our second lesson in our paddle game. And we're also going to get a chance to practice some of our uh, Cartesian coordinate system or the coordinate plane. And look along the x-axis and talk about 2D space. And we're also going to get our first um, chance to do some computer programming using C-sharp programming. So we should have already set this up. So we have our game set. We, uh, we have our own layout. So this is the default layout, but we went ahead and created our own layout, in which case I called my mobile. And we saved it. So we saved our layout. So when I click, I now have a, a game that's more um, advantageous to build for a mobile device because it looks like the screen of a mobile device. I can design it so that it would uh, fit um, the mobile device um, interface. And so we have our um, scene. We have our game view. I also changed my resolution. I created my own by clicking on this box, 480 by 800. And I saved that. So this, again, would be standard for a uh, mobile phone, mobile device. We put um, some physics on our um, paddle. We created a rigid body, 2D, and we remove the gravity so it doesn't fall. We then put a box collider around it so that uh, when we start having balls come down and it's moving, they'll collide and bounce off and destroy other um, objects, which we want. And we also created a script. So we created two folders, one for our players, and we're putting more um, sprites in here, and then a um, folder for our scripts. And there's our script here. Um, we created two public variables, and we dragged our paddle down. So now we, we can drag different objects in here if we want to affect our script. And we also created a public variable for speed. That way we don't have to go reprogram it if we don't like the speed of our object. That's all we have right now. OK, so now we're going to um, add to our script. So I think I have that open already. There it is. So all we've done so far is create two public variables, a rig, which we then put our paddle in, and then the speed. And that's what we just saw. So now we're actually going to program our game. Um, void start is only run once. So any commands we put in here will only be run when the program first starts, one time. That's it. On the other hand, void update is run every frame. So if we want our object to be moving, shooting, etc., it will go into the void update um, programming section. So this is our first um, line of code. It has to be typed exactly like this. This means we're going to float along the x-axis, along the x-axis. And what that means is um, left to right. We want to go left to right. We don't want to um, go up or down, which is our y-axis. So only left to right. So that's all we want to move along. It's just our x-axis. Uh, and you can see right here, here's x. So as I move it, see a change? So the pilot changes in the x value. Um, so let's go back to our code. So we'll go horizontal, which of course is left to right. Vertical would be up or down. So we're only going uh, horizontal. If Let's go down. So we're going to write that as our code. M remember to put the semicolon. And so now we're going to start programming. So if x equals 0, in other words, if we're not um, hitting our arrow keys, we want it to stop. So we're moving to the left, and we let go of the arrow key. We want it to stop. So. That's our first line of code. And notice we have the curly bracket start, curly bracket end. So that means it knows that, that program. You have to make sure you get exactly like that. On the other hand, if x is less than 0, we're going to move left. That means we want to go on a number line, like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So if it's less than 0 on our number line or Cartesian system, we're moving left. On the other hand, and you can just copy and paste this. So you can just copy this. And then paste it here. Make sure you have a curly bracket start and end. Paste it right down here. And um, just change it. So now we want to change this symbol to greater than 0. So a number line of x is greater than 0. Then we're moving right. Positive 1, positive 2, etc. 
So um, we're going to have that line of code in to let it know if it's uh, greater than zero, we're moving to the right if we hit our keys. Okay, now we're going to kind of get our velocity, so making it move uh, according to the command we set on the speed. So it's only a vector 2. If we were going into a 3D space with a Z um, space on a 3D game would be vector 3. In this case, we're only doing X and Y. So vector 2 means X and Y. So in this case, um, if we're going uh, the left, we're going, remember, negative, negative numbers, we're going negative speed. And we're not going on the Y, so it's zero, only moving on the horizontal. So you would type this line of code here, from right here on, and then you could then um, copy and paste it right here. Make sure you in your curly bracket. And again, if we're going um, to the right, um, we're going to go positive, positive speed. So that means we're going uh, positive numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Again, only X and Y, and Y, we're not doing anything with Y, so it's 0. And then when we stop, we want our velocity to be 0. So we, we stop pushing that arrow key, we want it to be 0. So again, you can copy this, um, all of this, and then paste it here. Um, just make sure you change that to stop, and um, we move the new and put the 0 here. And curly bracket, make sure you end it. And last curly bracket to end it, and you'd want to save it. I've already saved my, my file save. So when I go to play it, let's take a look at it. So when I play and hit my left arrow, I move. Right arrow, I move. And when I let go, it stops. If I didn't put that stop in there, I would just keep going left and keep going right. Again, only moving on the X, and you can look up here and see the X value change as it does it. So we're moving just along the X axis. Notice Y never changes either to Z. They do not change, only the X. Okay, so go ahead and um, write that code. If you have an error message, it will give you a, um, let's take a look at that. Um, let's go back to our default view. It will give you an error message here. So you will see what, what's going on with it. Um, let's take a look at that. So let's say I come up here and I remove this on line 22. And I save it. And now let's play. There it is. So it gives me an error message. Um, usually gives me the line. So let's go back to the script. And model develop. And I'm going to go ahead and put my curly bracket there. In this case, it showed a different line because the curly bracket. Um, didn't end till down here. So save it. And now let's play it. And I'm moving just fine. So it's really a cool um, way to learn to program because not only does it give you the error message here, it gives you the line. So go ahead and uh, write the code, plug it in your game. Let's see if you uh, if it plays for you. If not. Find where that error message is and see if you can correct it. Um, let me know when you're done.